In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to set the time on your Casio G-Shock Master of G Mudmaster GSG100. This is module 5562 from Casio. So it's pretty simple. We're going to go through a couple of different settings. Now I'm only going to focus on time and date in this video. I've done some other videos in the past that walk you through setting some of the other values. First thing we're going to do is we're going to start by pressing and holding the top left button on the watch. You want to make sure that you're in your regular timekeeping mode. Um, you're not in your stopwatch or your timer or anything like that. If you're in your regular timekeeping mode, press and hold the top left button. And after a couple of seconds, you should see set blinking in the left subdial. Your hand should have moved out of the way and then you should see hand uh, blinking over here. You've got four little squares and one of them should say hand and it should be blinking. The first thing you're going to see down here at the bottom is your home city. You want to make sure your home city is set correctly. It really doesn't have any impact on your time. You can still set your time accordingly, but if your home city is set wrong, your world time values will not be right. So look at this home city down here. If you need to adjust the home city, you can use the bottom right button to move to the different home cities to the east. You can use the top right button to move to the west. Once you have your home city set correctly, we're going to press the bottom left button and that will take us to our next value. The next value that you have is your daylight savings value. You can see up here, there's a blinking indicator next to DST. And then you should have a status down here at the bottom subdial. That status should either say on or off. This is dealing with the daylight savings for your current home location and thus your current time setting. You can use the bottom right button to toggle daylight savings on or off. Once you've got your daylight savings set, we're going to press the bottom left button again, and it will take us to our 12, 24 hour format. You can toggle that if you wanted to change that. You could again use the bottom right button to change it to 12, 24 hour format. Press the bottom left button. Now we are actually in our time settings for the watch. The first thing that you're going to be able to change is the second value. If you want to reset your seconds to zero while it is blinking, you can press the bottom right button, that will change your seconds back to zero. Once you have your seconds set correctly, you're going to go ahead and press the bottom left button. The next thing will be your hour indicator. Now when you adjust your hours, your analog hands will automatically adjust to match whatever digital value you have here. The weird thing about Casio watches is if you want to move the hours down, you will press the top right button. If you want to move the hours up, you will press the bottom right button. To me, it would make more sense that the top button would move it up and the bottom button would move it down, but for whatever reason, Casio does it backwards. So you can also press and hold. You want to move to a faster value. Once you have your hours set correctly, you're going to press the bottom left button and that will take you to your minutes. You're going to do the same thing with your minutes. Top button will move them down. Bottom right button will move them up. Once you have your minutes set correctly, you'll press the bottom left button. It will take you to your year. Again, the top button will move the value down. The bottom right button will move it up. Once you have your year set correctly, you're going to press the bottom left button. It'll take you to your month. You can move that wherever you need to. Press it again, the bottom left button. It will take you to your day of the uh, month. You'll want to set that accordingly. That is the last time value that you have set. You've set your date, you've set your time. Now, since we're done, if you press the bottom left button, it'll take you into some of the other settings like your key tones, your backlight time. We're done though. We've set our date, we've set our time. All we have to do is press the top left button. That will save our changes. Our digital time should be set and our analog time should match whatever we just set for our digital time. This part can take a little bit of time depending on how far off you were from what your time was to what you adjusted your time to. But that's it. We have successfully set the time and date on our Casio G-Shock 
Leon Mudmaster. As always, I hope the video helps.